Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy Plex for Plexity. Well, man, who who we have here today? It's Bling Number Five. You feel me? Off the north yeah, side, double thugging. Early's outside and shit like that. I'm gonna let everybody else introduce themselves and shit. Yeah, love to see it. Yes, sir. Man, you brought the whole family here today, haven't you? Man, so like, um, this is your first time on the show. Like, uh, for those that uh, don't know you or don't know too much about you, um, like, tell us um, where you from. You know. It's just the young nigga getting money, bro. I grew up low poverty, not getting too much money, bro. If you looked at it, put some money on the table for all my niggas and shit like that. Grew up, got into this rap and shit, you feel me? And it just took off from there, bro. So, so growing up, um, like, uh, with, like, not a lot, um, and you, you know, you said, um, you're helping out um, the people. I'm around you right now, so what, like, who helped you out? Like, uh, got you what you have today? I never really went for the handouts, bro. I really like to get shit on my own, bro. I'm gonna go yeah. get it, ass nigga, bro. So, money, money out there, I'm gonna go get it always, bro. So, like oh, go ahead, my fault. Nah, I'll just feel me, like, that's it, fool. Just go get it, ass nigga, bro. Then, as well, um, like, in today's world, like, it's really hard to attain, like, um, at least a good foundation um, to get, to go places in life, you know? So, from where you grew up at, how, tell us a little bit, how was that experience, um, such as their environment, you know, from in school, you know, out school, stuff like that? Growing up, I really ain't fucked with school, bro. You know, there's always some shit traumatizing around the hood, bro, but this is how it is, bro. You always gonna see a couple crackhead niggas in the corner doing some shit, you gonna see a nigga laid out that shit, you feel me, bro, it's just about the way we live, bro, but, yeah, get get past it, my nigga, shit like that, bro, but, yeah, like I said, school is never really, and I'm saying, bro, I'd always skip, get suspended, expelled, bro, got to the point where I finally just couldn't go anymore and shit, so, I ain't been to school since then, my nigga. Now, when you had said, like, school was an option, do you mean towards as, like, it was hindering you from getting you where you wanted to be, or you felt yeah, like... Bro, it... I feel like certain limits, it stopped me from being out and doing things I could do to get my name out there and just rapping shit, or just getting some type of money, my nigga. So, what, um... So, who inspired you to, uh, like, uh, know, like, alright, yeah, so school is not, you know helping me to get to reach this status. Like, who did you look up to growing up? Really, my, my big homie Bullet, bro. That nigga really just... Growing up, he, he took me in, bro. And just basically, like, put it down. Taught me all these ways and shit. The street shit, bro. And he always, like, knew I had to... Without him, my nigga, none of this shit be possible today, bro. Right on. And then as well, like... Uh... I mean, while you were in school, like, how was it like for you? Were you, like, did you already, like, knew damn near everybody? Or, like, was you, like, how, how was Man, that? Like, what was really, your status? Uh, I, I got anger issues, shit like that. I stayed away, but I stayed in my circle. It be a certain group of niggas I hung out with and shit. But, yeah, everybody knew, knew of me, bro. But it's, like, yeah. it was never really, like, tight. It was just, like, what's up and shit like that. You feel me? And then as well, too, um, grow, like, did you recently, like, how did you go, go about getting the name? Like, um, did you already had it, like, from family, or did you had it from friends? How, when did you get that? I just, I just, the hood, bro. I got the name from the hood, bro. I was in love, dance in love with jewelry, really, bro. Shit would always be dancing and shit like that, you feel me, bro? So, and then all these niggas around me, but they just been looking out, bro, supporting that nigga my whole life, bro. Loving the dead, fool. What is your um, favorite jewelry piece that you have on? Uh, probably just sit around my neck. It's a Buddha piece, so I'm the jeweler. Um, so, and then as well, too, like, um, as well for jewelry, like, on on average, like, how much, how many times do you go by, um, go about shopping for jewelry? I ain't been in a minute, I can't lie, but when I head up there, I usually bring a 10 ball, bro. Damn. That's some cool shit. And then as well, to too. Go up there. Go up there every two months, month, get my shit clean and shit like that. Then as well, um, after school, um, well, no, uh, scratch that. 
once you decided school wasn't for you and then um, you started like um, tr making money, you know what I'm saying, living up to your name, getting the bling, you feel me? So what what was uh what was like the day to day activities for you like such as like uh, were you like normally like with the homies or with your or with yeah, family I mean, or yeah go from dice games to I ain't gonna say too much but yeah you feel me the street shit I was I was but shit like that then really just this rapping shit but I used to freestyle on Vinewood I used to uh, bring like. Like a little bucket, and I used to beat on a bucket, make beats, and just freestyle, and niggas would come in, throw me some cash and shit like that, tell my mama, my family, bro. And then as well, um, like, uh, tell me about, like, um, like your first freestyle, like, well, tell me, to, like, explain the scenery, like, how did that go down? See, bro, it, it, you feel me? There's ways to it, bro. It was hard, bro, but you just really just gotta look past it, bro. Shit gonna yeah. happen to your life, my nigga. You always just gotta look at the brighter side, no matter how hard it is, bro. And then as well too, with the um, as far as rapping goes, um, are you like there's different type of styles of like of uh, rappers that um talk about um like either the like what they live, what they seen, or just a mixture of all. What would you say the style of rap that you're mixture doing? Mixture of all, really, bro. I really put when I get mad, I usually hop in the studio, bro, and just. Whatever comes off my head, I never really write shit, bro. I've never been yeah. like to sit to write some shit down. It's usually just off of hip freestyling and shit, bro. Put some of my homies onto my music and shit, and they finally started rapping. Oh, I'm gonna make sure they write. They gonna make sure I'm right as always, bro. That's how it is. And then as far as well, um, have you like, um, are you deciding to take it like um, serious, or are you still not a hundred percent at the moment? No, hell yeah, bro. I put my life to this rapping shit, bro. Pretty known as a rapper, bro. I usually drop it every few days, bro. Yeah, niggas, you're not lying. Show support, bro. Yeah. So, and then as well, too, um, have you also, like, branched out, like, as well to um, do, like, um, appearances, like, at different events? Actually, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I performed uh, at this little beats event. It was on a beach. We just performed in front of, like, a certain group of people. And then I had a showcase. With some shady record niggas, I went there, showcased my music. They fuck with it, bro, in that future, bro. How was the um, experience uh, with Shady Records? Like, what was the first song you presented to them? Uh, I presented three songs. I don't even remember the three songs. I think it was, yeah, I, ain't gonna lie, I don't remember, but some, some uh, fast shit for sure, bro. Some energy shit to get niggas, you feel me, built up. Yeah. But then as well, like, so... Like you say that like that you and then I mean everybody know that you're not lying when when you say this like you drop damn near every other day. So how do you how do you go about like do you have a team behind you that's pushing out like um letting people know hey this dropped or you just let the fans discover like how is that? Really all my niggas around me, bro. Miss sixty sixty, bro. Hunger right here, but she really you feel me? Yeah. Tell me to do this shit, bro. Don't stop. God. A lot of songs that just I got, but they ain't even dropped for real, bro. I'm working on the EP and shit. Plan on dropping that soon, but make sure niggas tap in and shit like that, bro. You feel me? It's just the niggas around me, bro. I love them to death, man. Like I said. And then as well, too, like, for people, like, um, like, so, do you believe, like, um, you're turning into, like, more of a businessman as well, too? Yeah. I mean, a little bit. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll still be in the hood and shit like that. I'll yeah. still live up there. Do what it do. Do it takes. Really live the life I live, bro. Uh, the reason why I ask because um, there's um, several occasions like uh, some people like uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and you know um, I want this guy to be my competition or whatnot. Would you ever like consider like uh, one day like a person that you've been competing with in the rap industry to ever like uh, link up and y'all like. Uh, do a perf um, performance or even a collab or anything like that? Shit, cause I'm really, niggas can't compete with me, bro. That's how it is, bro. Niggas, I'm a trendsetter, bro. Yeah. I said tens, niggas follow, bro. Did you uh go to that uh open mic? Uh, what was the hell last name? No, hell no, I actually ain't go. I was busy in the studio with the homies right here, low key. Oh, Chilling, making some music. We be up, just living, bro. And then as well too, like, um, like growing up where you from, how was it, um, 
Like when you know, all right, so I'm trying to get money. You feel me? The homies, like they getting money too. So how did you go about? Like, did they already know like what you had wanted, or you just had to tell them like, look, I want this. It really all just fell in my hands, bro. I never really had a plan in my life, and now I feel like I'm setting goals. I'm reaching the goals, and I ain't gonna stop until I'm. You feel me, bro? Up there, up there, my nigga. Yeah. Then as well too, like that's not like uh, like rapper or entertainment wise. In um, who did you like um, take inspiration from? Like such as like I know you said you're a trendsetter. But as well, too, like, um, inspiration what, um, as far as, like, um, choice of style in your rap? Uh, as, a, as like, a young nigga, I used to listen to that Detroit shit, bro. I always yeah. fuck with the beats. I freestyle on beats and shit like that. And then, homie right here behind me, R.A.S., he used to hop on Detroit beats. He had me hop on it, bro, and I just found love, bro. Ever since then, I've been just steady on the Detroit beats and shit. And then as well, yeah. too, oh, go ahead. It's the niggas around the hood, bro. They grew up rapping, some did. And I just looked at it like, damn, but this could be me, really, bro. I was just inspiring me to do shit, bro. And then as well, like, um, I mean, LS is no stranger to, you know, violence of any sort. So how was it like um, um, growing up and with your family witnessing, like, oh, shit, like, my my, my child could get potentially hurt? Or, like, how, how did that go? Shit, bro, growing up, my, my older uh, brother and shit, he done got his life took and shit, bro. My mom tried to get me away from this gangbang and shit, bro, but I just always grew up. These type of pe people got my put on, bro, and just went from there, my nigga. It's, it's, feel me, it's a hustle, bro, but too, I look at the bottom side, like I said, bro. Yeah. And then as well, too, like, right now, um, how is it, um, how's that conversation going? Like, I mean, I would assume good, she already bro. know, like, that you, um, Hang out with the boys now. Yeah, she been seeing she been seeing the money coming through, but I've been supporting her, bro. I bought her yeah. own crib actually like two weeks ago, bro. Oh, that's and nice. Just, yeah, bro. She wants me to keep going. Now she's working with me, bro. Helping me do what I wanna do, bro. Oh, she on your uh, team now? Yeah, it's my manager and shit. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, so I didn't do you have any siblings or is it just you? Nah, just my older brother who I passed away, bro. Oh, I got cool. some cousins and shit, but I ain't yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, feel me. And as well, like as far as like um, like family living on different parts of LS, how, how is that? Um, like, do you? I mean, do you go visit any other family in LS? Nah, or not? not really, bro. I, don't, I stay out the way, bro. I'm usually in my turf or getting yeah. money or in the studio rapping, bro. If a nigga wanna link, shit, I'll link with them every once in a while, bro. But it's never like I'm over there. Hanging with them and shit like that, but as much as it hurts to say, but that's the truth, bro. No, no, I respect it. And as well, too, as far as like uh, music goes, um, ha has there been like um, a song that you had created that you just haven't released, but you actually love it? It's just you just don't know a good time to um, put it out yet. Uh, shit, I got a couple, bro. There's a couple songs I love, but me and the homie R.S. just dropped some shit. Sixties Anthem, I really love that song, bro. Yeah. So how did that one get a go about? Because that one is a, you know what I'm saying, a, a energetic song, you feel me? So how did that one yeah. come about? Y'all was just Shit, like, bro, I just, yeah. I was in the stool, bro. That nigga was asleep. Homie, homegirl had called his phone. He was on some bullshit, and I tried to come to the stool. I got him to the stool. He get to record it, bro, and we all there telling him, yeah, but we got to get this shit out there, bro. Niggas going to love this song. I record my verse. We dropped it that same night, bro. And then as well, too, like, has there ever been um, a studio session that, like, what, what was the most amount of tracks that you made in one, uh, one night in, in the studio? Me and, my, me and my nigga Book, bro, we made that murder music shit, bro. That shit really put niggas' names out there, bro, and put shit on yeah. the line, bro. Niggas really looked at that song, lyric by lyric, and realized, bro, you feel me? And then what song that you had put out that you didn't intend it to blow up that much? Oh, shit, bro. A lot, low-key, and I ain't even trying to say that. You feel me, bro? Yeah. No, no, talking shit, because, no, the, talk way, shit, nah, your numbers way, yeah. is crazy, bro. So, yeah, go ahead, talk your shit. Not a lot of people could push that, and especially, like, you putting out that many tracks every other day. On the run, bro. On the run, freestyling, bro. I ain't, I, I, you feel me? I yeah. dropped that shit on some just, I was high type shit, and that shit, I woke up the next day. Numbers was crazy, bro. Money was coming in. Homies was fucking with, I was getting calls, texts. 
niggas just telling me, you feel me, keep going. Shit like that, bro. And then it's what? Nigga, what done for? Nigga, this is set up. Then as well, too, uh... Bro, this is a set up. Then as well, too, as far as, like, um, you, um... With, um, presenting, like, yourself to Shady Records, has it been in any other, like, um, label you had, uh, talked to? Hell yeah, D1 Records, bro. I linked up with them a couple times, showcased my shit. Yeah. They fuck on my shit, bro, but... It's all about the money, my nigga. I'm just trying to get rich, bro. So it hasn't been, like, a label that you, like, fix your, um... Fix your mind on yet, or Hell you? No, nah, yeah. bro. I got options, and I ain't gonna steady like drop on one until I really like feel like that's the one, bro. Now that like so since so how is it to be like like damn, yeah self made yeah let's go ahead and go with that self made and then as well to an independent rapper like I mean yeah granted you have a team but like do you ever have time to like. Um, like, just free time with just yourself or no? Nah? Oh, yeah, all the time, bro. I'm always doing shit by my dolly and chilling, yeah. bro. I always got time on my hands, bro, to do whatever the fuck I feel like doing, you feel me? And then without, you know what I'm saying, the street life and the rap music, what do you, what is your, uh, like, your time to, like, just waste time? No, not necessarily, bro. It's fucked the ops, bro. I'm on spinach every day, but niggas know where I be, bro. Oh, you I'm in the studio on kid, but that's it. Early. Okay, and then as well too, um, when you're, uh, what is your, as well too, um, like, I think I said this at the last interview, like, uh, what's your idea, like, studio setup, like, what do you like to bring that in, it must have to be there? See, but we be bringing, you feel me, all the homies, bro, music, gas, bro, all this, like, niggas coming in that bitch with a lot of energy, bro, I don't want no nigga coming there. They need to turn into a bad mood, or I want everybody yeah. on the same page in that bitch. It's chilling, having a great time, bro. Has there ever been uh, moments where you're like, all right, yeah, nah, like, I don't want that that many people up in the studio. I need yeah, to focus. Course, on, yeah. And then I what is... Think... What's up? Go ahead, go ahead. You good, you good. What is your um, favorite uh, strain right now of, uh, of some gas? I don't really yeah. know, but the homie you bringing in some gas, nigga, and I'll be floating, nigga. <laughs> dead homie, I'll be hiding in the bitch. Yeah, I'll be dead homie. And then as well, too, uh, when you, like, so you had said um, one of your um, homegirls um, as well be helping you push out your music, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, and then, like, how long, um, like, what, she grew up with you as well, too? Or y'all just recently, like, say, yo, I need you on my team? Like, how did that go? Like, how do you go about picking your team members? Oh, it's just the family around me, bro. I really looked at niggas, like, cut ties with niggas, bro. I got my circle tied. All these niggas around me, bro. I love them to death, bro. They really support a nigga. They support everybody else that's doing shit and getting money, and they see it, bro. That's just how it is, bro. We all just want to be rich, my nigga. Then as well, too, what's going to be, like, what is your, like, next steps to ensure that you reach your overall goal, like, um, succeeding? Just keep on doing what I do, bro. As far no as... what I'll keep going. And then, as, okay, and then as well, too, I mean, yeah, granted, there has to be some type of business aspect behind the music, like, do your team, like, set up, um, like, meetings with different, um, like, organizations, or you do it, like, how, how does that work? Yeah, sometimes I'll be getting certain interviews with certain niggas, and... We be talking, tying it up, and they, they, we all get on the same page and go from there, but they just all want to see me keep building and building. So one day I'm at the top, bro. All my niggas around me and shit. Yeah. All right, so move forward. So how is it, like, how is the north side compared to the south side of Los Santos, like, in, in your opinion, as far as, like, music-wise? See, bro, niggas on the north side, bro, there's some north side rappers I've seen that obviously suck, bro. Yeah. Niggas on the south, bro. Niggas on the south, they, they ass, but they be rap capping, but they be doing, you feel me, but they suck, bro. So, you, like, so you feel like you're you're the king of right now um on the north side of, of LS uh, in the rap-wise, right? Rap shit, I feel like me and, me and Buck really run this shit, bro. Yeah. Then as well, too, um, so have you, like, um, decided, like, um, to even host your, like, own events as well, too, to, um, like, hey, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm dropping this song. I'm, I want y'all to come come to this event, like, a live, like, concert type stuff. Yeah, I said sometimes, but I don't, I don't really like 
being in a big ass group of niggas, I don't know and shit yeah. like that. But I get paranoid hella quick, bro. Oh, I really just be showing it to my niggas and getting it out there. Views be running it up, and then from there, bro, niggas be texting me, telling me they they fuck with it, bro. And I was gonna be that one dick by that nice nigga. You feel me, bro? Yeah. You know how I go though, bro. Yeah, no, I'm already knowing. So I did as well too. As far as like um. Like moving around, like do you ever like come across like um, like granted, like I mean your status is like is pretty big and your face is pretty recognizable and your name, you know what I'm saying, ring bells. So have you like um, considered like you feel like you get targeted, um, especially by um, like law enforcement or even like different per- uh, social media personalities just try to like uh, get a reaction out of you? Hell yeah, I see what you're saying, but. Niggas here, yeah, I feel me, bro. It's just niggas recognize me, bro. But I feel like every time I bump into a nigga that recognize me and they don't be on yeah. shit. Other than that, niggas be telling me they fuck with my music, shit like that. But I'ma show a nigga support if they fucking with me, bro. And then as well too. I mean, granted, you know, growing up, like you, you might have disagreements from different areas um, of like uh, people and groups of Los Santos. But are you that type of person? Like, all right, if they fuck with my music, you know what I'm saying? It's I mean, it's still, you know what I'm saying? I don't like what you, you know, uh, represent, but if you fuck with my music, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like what? Yeah, what's See, your thoughts on that? I mean, if if a hot nigga fuck with my music, but that's on him, bro. You feel me? And niggas always gonna lie, bro. I know some niggas that fuck with me and my book, R.S. music, and they, they from the sucker side, bro. You know how that go? You feel me? Yeah. And then as well, too, um, when you... I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't remember asking you this. Um, so how did um, you and Buck uh, cross paths? See, just one day, bro. We, we had the same meeting, bro. I crossed ties with the nigga. We feel me, got each other. Yeah. From there, bro. Ever since then, we've been in the studio with each other almost every day. But that's my brother, bro. Do you have like another um, like so-called brother in the industry right now? Hell yeah, yeah, RS. But this nigga right behind me, fool. Yeah. How did y'all two cross paths? It's the dead, fool. Going up, bro. This nigga been my evil twin. Yeah, Ever since I was young, yeah. bro. The neighbors, and we would always be outside doing shit with each other, bro. Wait, yeah. RS was on one of your latest tracks, wasn't he? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, I had to, I had to think about it then. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So then as well, too, um, as far as, like, music-wise as well, too, like, as, like, niche goes, like, do you... Are you versatile? Like, are you like? Do you move to different types of like genres, or are you like sticking to this one? Shit, I've been on some different shit lately, but I've been dropping some shit where I be singing. You feel me? Some slow shit, but yeah. I really do stick to that energy shit, bro. Shit, that gonna get a nigga built up, bro. And then as well too, like, uh, like due to you're capable of like dropping like tracks so quickly. How much do you be charging for like features, or if you charge at all? Say the ten bullet, bro. If I fuck with you, you feel me? Get one for the free ski. But if you weird ass nigga or something, but you definitely a ten bullet, bro. Then as well too. Um, as far as like um, like reaching success, especially like in um, low income areas in um, LS. What do you feel like is really um hindering uh, people from um advancing in the community? Shit, fool. I just feel like niggas be niggas be around, but they be hearing shit, and then from there they be doing whatever they want to do with the music, and then how they fuck with it, bro. For real. And then as well for as well as um like rapper goes, what do you feel like is the biggest downfall for rappers? The reason why they don't succeed. See, this this niggas that be hating ass niggas, but I be making it feel like they ass, bro. You just gotta just block that shit out your ears, bro. There's always gonna be a couple niggas that hate on you, bro. Let that shit go. And do you feel like um, this this music, like, um, I mean, granted, like, this music as well, like, gets you, like, a lot of det- attention, but doesn't get you as far. But um, do you feel like there's, a like, a loophole around that where you could keep dissing and still, like, prolong your career? Or it's just, like, you start dissing, your career is going to be short? Shit, I'm going to keep dissing, but I'm going to say what the hell I want to say on that song, bro. Yeah. Regardless niggas fuck with it or not, but at the end of the day, I'm... By myself, I'm a, you feel me? I'm bling, bro. Whatever I feel like doing, I'm going to do, bro. Ain't no nigga ever going to stop me from doing something and reaching my goals, bro. And then as well, too, um, 
when do you feel like it's going to be time for you to like um like stop uh rapping and start like focusing like on like uh, retiring like i know like it's still early in your career and you're still young but like what have you noticed like it's it's times where people like stay in the in the rap industry for too long where like then they start coming irrelevant yeah, I feel it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I've seen a lot of rappers fall, fall off for real, bro. But I be taking breaks and shit like that, bro. I don't be trying to get to the fact where I'm annoying, bro, where niggas just, you feel me, bro? If niggas fucking with I'm going to keep dropping, bro. It's going to be a day, shit, long from now that I'm going to end up probably stop rapping and shit like that, bro. Yeah. Stop dropping at least. I'm always rap though, hot music, but I drop the shit, yeah. Then as well, uh, wait, wasn't there like a um a party um yesterday? Um, yeah, it's yeah, like a birthday, birthday yeah. party. Bro. Yeah, you that go? was my yeah. shit, bro. Yeah, you go. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah, right there, my brother. I wasn't able to attend, bro. Like I got caught up in a lot of uh, work. How, how was it? It was a, it was a hard. That shit, bro. Nigga, lead, though. bro. That shit was cool until the sucker niggas came to the party, bro. That shit, yeah. Yeah, what they was doing too much. Them sucking niggas came from that bitch and it escalated from there, but really, y'all niggas uh, out of there and there. Were y'all able to there, go to a different location just the people y'all know, just to uh, like so hang out? We had like a we had like a private party yeah. like earlier on in the week for like my yeah. birthday party type shit. So yeah, oh, no, that's dope. So. Yeah, that's that's the best way to go about it, especially in times like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, like crime on uprise and LS is uh, getting crazy. You feel me? And then uh, as well, like your name ring bells. So you feel me? Like people see, like oh, so they go be there. You know. So how's that as well too for you, Bling? Like um, knowing like your name ring bells and people might see like oh you performing there. Like uh, I'm always one step ahead, bro. I'm already yeah. always on the same nigga page. I got niggas with me, bro. That just they be just watching shit, bro. I'm always like I said a paranoid ass nigga, but I always be watching my surroundings, bro. Noticing faces too, but really, yeah. shit niggas wear, jewelry, the way they bug, step, you feel me? Everything about nigga, bro. And then as well too, um, as far as like um, your homies and uh, so forth, like have have you um, gave back to like the community? Not only like you know the homies, but your community as a whole. See, I mean, there be some little niggas around the hood, bro, that I be giving out to. I be making sure they good. Yeah. Just the niggas around me, bro. I'll be, we be making sure they got, uh, you feel me? They up around getting money, bro. Never want to see no nigga around me fail, bro. And hey, then what do you feel like, um, I mean, I know you said, you know, you have no competition, but like rappers, um, uh, like in your genre is like really lacking that you're really up there. See, yeah, I see what you mean, but I feel like it's just the support system, bro. Yeah. Shit like that, yeah. Then as well too, like I know you noticed you didn't like uh, mention like your uh, father earlier. Um, has he uh, been supportive at all? Hell no, I don't talk to that nigga at all no more, bro. I ain't seen that nigga in fourteen years, fool. Was it like um uh, like something like uh, regarding like the school situation? Shit, hell yeah, I think it's just the, the area we lived in, bro. He wasn't fucking yeah. with it, and my mom got into it, and he just left, fool. Then as well too, um, when you growing up, like how was the uh, politics um, compared to now to back then? Shit, fool, it's all really been the same, bro. It's only pushed that ASM shit, but that Oslo murder shit. Most yeah. lives allowed over there on the north side, bro. All up Spanish, bro. And then as well too, um, as far as politic wise goes, and you uh, like uh, being like. Uh, like in the group, how did how did that process was like? I know you stated like it was just in your, already in your hands, but like, um, did you did you already uh, essentially like oh he he already known like in the hood, so we're just gonna go ahead and bring him in, or how, how did that go? Shit, fool, just going up. I had the niggas around me. They they really like realized I had some type of talent, bro. And from there we just launched off, bro, and took off, and we still going, bro. Yeah. Then as well. Uh, like, have you ever, like, um, like, got, uh, caught up, um, with, uh, law enforcement as far as, like, um, getting locked up or not? Nah? Hell yeah, bro. I went down, a couple gun charges and petty, feel me, bro? Thugged it out, though. Got out in yeah, bro. How long were you, like, what was the longest, um, time you was in? 
Shit, fool. Couple years, my nigga. Years. Damn, years. So, like, how was it? Like, I know everybody I mean, experience is different when they're inside. What was yours? Shit, bro, you know how it be, bro. I be crossing niggas' ways that I don't fuck with. They don't fuck with me, bro. Go squabble yeah. up, back and forth, bro. But other than that, I was chilling, bro. Met a group of niggas in that bitch and kicked it with them for real, bro. They looked out for me always, fool. And then, um, then as well, too, um, as far as, like, being inside, what was, uh, what was one of the things that you, um, like, didn't really, um, look forward to? Like, I know, like, there's times, like, where you don't even like to, like, be in your cell that much because, like, you, you know, so bothered up. Do you, like, move it around, like, when you go into, like, different sections of the facility or what was the, uh, what was it? Shit, boss, always watch my back, bro. There'd always be niggas in that bitch trying to peer pressure me to do shit, bro. I would just always, just, you feel me, bro? Be by my dolly, bro. Look past all that shit. As far as, like, uh, peer pressure-wise, like, um, how do you, like, how do you go about, like, couple, because, I like, growing up at a young age and, like, uh, people, like, wanted to know, like, if you really wanted to, like, um, blow up like as far as money wise like was it a lot of peer pressure or were you already like doing it without even knowing it shit i was uh, just one day but already was getting money i just looked at it but like damn this shit really going fast bro i'm gonna keep coming in bro never stop doing this shit bro and then as far as uh money wise like i mean sure like um did you like start investing anything as far as yet no or no nah? Hell no, nah. I planned on it in the future, but as of right now, hell no, nah, bro. Best yeah. of myself, bro, and the niggas around me. And then as well, like, as far as, um, like, music and your environment goes, um, have you, have you, like, decided to, um, expand more into, like, um, like, not necessarily, like, I know you stated, like, you made, like, slow music, you know, and sing it, but have you decided to, as well, like, uh, start branching out and providing, like, different type of, like, uh, music, like, um, like, visual, like, um, more visuals, like, uh, music videos yeah, or yeah, something like that? Yeah, in the future. I dropped a couple like that, but a lot more coming in the future for show skis, bro. Yo, that's dope. What was the, what was that experience like for your first one? So it was really just, it was just different, bro. And I fucked the way it was going. Yeah. All the niggas around me fucked with it, bro. So we plan on making more in the future and shit like that, too. No, that's dope. Yeah. And then you feel me? I know, I know this your team. Like, you feel me? Got, got the nice outfits, bro. Like, yeah, no, go ahead and show off, bro. Hell yeah. It's the hood dance shit like that. Yeah. Bro. Niggas yeah. rolling game. Yeah, yeah, so yeah bro. Niggas so All the neighbors eat it, nigga. All the neighbors eat it. All the neighbors eat it. All the neighbors eat it. Nigga, that's what I'm saying, nigga. Nigga, hook that nigga R shirt. Nigga, R be one of you. Insane shit. Hey, nigga, 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 no, that no, that's some nice stuff, bro. But yeah, no, I appreciate you for giving me the time um to even like conduct this interview, bro. Like, like I said um before, like um, Buck, I you know what I'm saying I love your music, bro. And then you know what I'm saying you. That's why I'm like, yo, bro, we gotta you know what I'm saying we gotta do an interview, bro. I gotta tap yeah, in yeah. with you, bro. Yeah, yeah that's cool, bro. I appreciate you for doing what you do, taking time out your day, get us in like this, and really do this for us, bro. Oh you yeah. Know? Almost definitely, yeah. And, good, and you feel me? It's gonna be much more in the future, bro. Like yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to hear what should go be your next, uh, next, uh, moves, bro. Like what, what's gonna be the next track, um, that you're gonna drop? This EP shit. I think me and Buck gonna have a little collab EP, bro. Six to seven songs of both of us. Really Wait, how many? Six to seven, bro. Damn. I don't Six think. Seven. Yeah, I don't think anybody did that yet. Shit, just talking our shit, bro. Yeah. Let niggas know what it is, bro. How long did that project uh, took y'all to do? Shit, it's still in the process, bro. It usually, uh. it take, it don't go, like, as long as you would think, bro. That shit low-key quick, bro. When he be up in the store, we be getting shit done, bro. We don't just be bullshitting in that bitch, bro. You feel me? Yeah. Then as well, too, like, um, like, how many, how many songs you already have made, like, right now? Shit, like, three to four, really. Oh, okay. Has y'all recently started on it, or no? Nah, it's been, like... Yeah, hell yeah. We got some old shit, but then just the newest shit 
Three yeah. new shit, bro. In the past like two weeks. But all right, man. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I want to thank you for allowing me to interview today. We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. Y'all got anything else to say for the camera? Shit, I, I got something to say. Yeah, let me know. Let me know. Yeah, let me know. 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 Let me yeah, what's the deal, bro? Hey, niggas gotta talk to you, bro. Fuck well, Grams, too, you, bro. nigga. I got you, bro. Hey, homies, really yeah, fuck Grams, nigga. You got some food. You got some food. Hey, so we gotta get you on a shirt, cuz. Okay? I got you. I got two.